Hello there, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be the, making the last video of our Control Technique C200 drive where we're going to look at how to run the drive, not to run the drive, but to control the drive's frequency with two buttons, so basically uh, control the frequency with the up and down button, uh, basically they call it electronical way of doing it, and we're going to look at as well how to uh, pretty much set up some uh, multi-frequency, basically we're going to be set up like on four different ways, four different preset with frequencies and things like that, look a bit more through some a uh, bit more advanced some, uh, parameters if we have time, and things like that so and if you haven't seen the previous videos which are two of them where in the first video we looked at a um, yeah, how to set up the driver in a local run edit all the parameters for the motor auto tune and things like that and second we ran the, uh, the remote mode with two three wire control and also we used uh, a, a remote potentiometer and before we get cracking here on IGS Electronics we are a buyer of industrial electronics so if by any chance you have stock that you would like to move and get some cash for it please head to our website into our contact page and send us all your details and all the stuff you got for sale and we'll come back to you within 24 hours with some form or an offer so without further ado let's cracking <music> Alrighty, before we crack on, I forgot to mention in the intro that any related videos to this to this video will be in the description below and also all the manuals you ever need is going to be in the description below as well. We'll take you, the, the link in the description is the one that's going to take you to the Control Techniques website where the, uh, thing, the, the line is called the Advanced Group Manuals. Is where the whole group of manuals accelerating to this guy is there and all, every, all the information you're going to need is literally all there. Control Techniques has made some really nice and pretty manuals and you, you can't really get things wrong if you really are not bored to go through all of them. So the first we're going to do, we're going to be controlling the drive, uh, the drive frequency with two buttons. They call that as a uh, uh, electronical way of controlling it and the, that is we're going to be using two buttons to go up and down. And uh, the system we're going to use, although there's quite a bit of systems I'd like to show you but only a couple I have time for. And the one we're going to be using this is, is an all these uh, the setups you can do is in a parameter five, which I'll show you in a minute. But the setup we're going to be using, let's just do that, is this one, which is called E dot par, which allows you, as you can see, the 14 will be, uh, speed will going up and five will go down. As you can see on there, analog output. You can have analog output for this drive as well, or you can uh, have a uh, external, which I one day I'm going to get one to show how they work. External way of reading the uh, frequency, what it is uh, externally away from the drive. So that's what pretty much what we're going to do in uh, this first uh, thing. And so uh, quickly show you the uh, cabling in here. Uh, we are using the, still the three wire system, which I uh, set up in the last drive. So if you want to see how we've done that, it's in the, the, in the, in the video link below. And uh, basically, the wiring works in here, we can see my uh, uh, source button, which is a 24 volt, comes to my normally closed button, then it sort of distributes the 24 volts to all the other buttons down here, and then the then, uh, normally closed returns to 11, and then my start button, the button returns to uh, the, the 12, and if I want to use the uh, reverse one, I can use this one as well, so uh, I can send that to reverse, but I don't need that, I'll use that for the multi-frequency in a minute, and these, these two are returning to uh, 14 and 5 so uh so it sort of allows me to uh send send those 24 volts back to those uh inputs down there to do that so i'll quickly show you how it works now that we looked at the that wiring so pretty much uh, that's hopefully that's uh, understandable down there so we're going to start the drive by basically a start button as you can see my three wire system is pretty much a start stop like that and I can use, or this one, yeah, as you can see, by holding the button, frequency, you can literally click and click a little bit at the time. I think you can even adjust how much it clicks. And there's some other, other things. If you read the manual, there's some cool things you can do. So I think one set parameter, you can, you can see now, my drive will stop. And when I click the, st uh, the start again, it goes back to the previous frequency, what it was, but you can set the drive to delete that go back to zero by changing parameter uh what come this is one of the parameters i think it's on uh zero nine upwards there's a just check out manual I'll be able to check that out we're not gonna be able to look at that today so basically that's all you need is you can go all the way to that down and this is going to be up 
Let's see. Ooh, you can see the button. See, we're holding the button now. And you can even adjust how fast the frequency would go up as well with some of the parameters, which again are in the manual. And then uh, it will just go down. So that's pretty much a cool way of controlling the drive if you wish to have. And I've seen a lot of people like button controls, up and down frequencies. So that's pretty much how that works. So let's just stop that one. And uh, again, remember I'm using a three wire system which allows me to latch the input. So that is how you do with the up and down buttons to control the frequency. Next we're gonna have a look at it, the multi-frequency, how we do that. One thing to show you how to uh, 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 get to that parameter. So just enter it and uh, go to parameter, Ooh. enter, enter, go down to parameter five. And then you pretty much select which, uh, by entering now, uh, which group you want to uh, work with so so that's pretty much how you get to that uh, uh, that type of control All right that's how you pretty much can change that next one for the multi frequency there's a couple there's about four different ways how you can uh, work with the multi frequency and the only uh, the one we're going to be working on is called preset frequency but the other ones i'll show you in a minute you can have in a, if you can see down there Parameter 5, if you, if you select AV.PR, so you can use uh, the, the potentiometer and you can see down here, so, so then you can see the potentiometer for the uh, reference 1, but for the reference 2, 3 and 4, you can actually have preset. And then obviously down there, AI means for the current. And then it's down here, which we are going to be using in, in a minute, which is going to be a preset. And actually, you and for this drive, you can use two potentiometers if you wish. Don't know what would you use it for, but if you wish, you can actually have two potentiometers being set to it, and each one then would control different uh, speeds. So, but the one we're looking at it today is a preset, and uh, I'll get that quickly wired in. And first, we're going to do that change for the preset. So that was up or down? I can't. Oh, no, I keep doing that all the time. You have to enter it and then go. Torque, PID, uh, what's it called? What's it looking at? PR set, that's what he's looking for. So, PR set, that's the one we're after. So by selecting that, now we pretty much are in that mode. So let me get all set, uh, set up and when, uh, wired up and I'll show you how that's done. Before you can uh, crack on with the preset speeds, first you need to set them up. So the first one we're going to set up is preset uh, number uh, one, which is parameter 18. So uh, enter that one and again, and let's go up. 18, so this is where you can set up. Oh, that's 29 first. So let's change that. Oh, keep doing that. And let's change that to about 20. Oh, that's up. And that's how you pretty much change, uh, set your frequencies. So let's leave it 9 to 25. And the rest of the frequencies is from uh, 19, 20 and 21. This is where you would set up or set in what sort of frequency you want for the combination of a uh, button uh, selection uh, to be. So uh, let me set up all the other four frequencies and uh, we'll show you how that works in wiring. Now that the, all the speeds are being entered into the parameters, I quickly show you how the logic works for a, a, this uh, drive. Because I'm just looking for a screwdriver, which I kind of lost. I'll do this one. And um, the one we're going to be using down here, as you can see down there, reference select points, which is a reference 14 and reference 5. So both of these uh, signals we will be using to change different frequencies. It's just go like that. So if you look at the little setup in here, it says terminal 5 and terminal 14. When on a startup, I would activate start. And if terminal 5 and terminal 14 both are on zeros, I will have preset speed 1. And if the terminal uh, 14 is closed and terminal 5 is open, it will preset 2. And then if terminal 5 closed and uh, 14 is open, it will preset 3. And if both terminals are closed, it will give us a preset uh, speed 4. Pretty much, it's a sort of changing uh, knots not, not and ones around and sort of activate each signal with, with, with a change of logic inside the, uh, the drive. 
this good old beast. So I want to show that how that works and on the wiring. The wiring is actually in here identical to what we were doing when we were doing the the up and down uh, speed change by the buttons. There's nothing's changed at all. All you changed is what uh, what the group of the, the what the inputs are doing by changing the parameter five to the group preset. So uh, we're not going to go through the wiring because we already understand that. And I am again I am using my three wire three wire control which allows me to uh, uh, start and stop the uh, drive with the latch mode. And plus uh, another thing, uh, I'm using the buttons in here and usually would have selected switches and things like that. I'm using buttons so I can better demonstrate how those uh, preset frequencies work. So let's have a look at this. Let's activate the start. As you can see, my first frequency, as I show in the manual at least, is that. And the next frequency is 24. And by, again, that's, there could be a selected switch and by that, that's my 38 and as I show you and if I click both both of the buttons same time is a uh, 50 so uh, that's pretty much and if you have a frequency if you sit in a frequency and you uh, stop the button when you start up again it will go back to that frequency it was being selected so that's pretty much how as you can see I just let, let the button go that's pretty cool you can play around down and then then it's pretty <laughs> gaming uh, that's pretty much how the multi frequency works it's very straightforward and very easy to set up and then uh, that's usually you can use these kind of preset frequencies where where you are you just want dead on exactly for that speed for that time and then and you don't want uh, anything else to interfere just by clicking a button you are on that frequency and this is where you go i think for the lays and things like that that will work very well and that ladies and gentlemen will be it for this video as i am trying to make sure that all the videos are staying the within 10 minutes so i've um, been failing quite miserably lately but uh hopefully that is uh, helping you uh, set up this kind of modes and this kind of setups and then it gives you sort of a better understanding around them uh, around the drive itself and the that will be sort of it and then uh, if you uh, like the video i would definitely appreciate a like and if you didn't uh, then click dislike and if you could be uh, your uh, input and uh, what you like and what you dislike in our comments would be very much appreciated as it helps me to make a better content in the future and sort of iron things out that you don't like to see. So other than that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.